again. Let's see if there's a lag. It appears that I have a lag in my videos. In the last video, I truly apologize for what happened with my uh, racist confessions. I don't know what happened, and I just tried to unload something. <laughs> unload being the operative word. Tried to upload something else, and it just was not happening. It was not syncing properly. I think I think it's okay now. So let me do a little bit of talk. I went out tonight. We were supposed to go see Blondie at Nassau in Nassau at the Eisenhower Park, and it didn't quite work out because by the time we got there, the parking I have, I have a cat on my foot. The uh, the parking lots were totally closed, including the handicap lots, and we tried absolutely. Everything we went to three different entrances and and did so many songs and dance We said oh, there's three handicapped people in the car And then we went to another gate and said oh, we've got an event at the restaurant there And they said well that restaurants closed and then Later on when the show had already started we drove back and said oh, we're coming to pick people up. It, it just did not happen uh, the best part of it being when we drove past, within within viewing distance of the band shell, and my, my girlfriend pulls over, and we're watching Blondie doing Heart of Glass, with all the cars zooming around us, because there is no shoulder on that road. That was, that was very entertaining. And we did manage to go to a really nice restaurant while we were hanging about, waiting, hitting the cat. Between tries, we went to a place called which is brew, which is a, a coffee and tea shop in Hempstead. That was so good. That was so good. The salad was so good. I ordered a beet salad, which had um, arugula and goat cheese and all in it. It was so good that I actually ordered a second one to take home, which is absolutely unusual for me. So it's now about 1243. I tried to upload when I got home, which was an hour ago. It was, it was just not happening. I wanted to talk a little bit about Dorothy Lee before I return the book. Now, I, I told you recently I'm on a wool, Wheeler and Woolsey kick. And this book by Dor about Dorothy Lee is by Jamie Brotherton and Ted Okuda. It's, it's really excellent. It really gave me a lot of information about Dorothy Lee, who was actually born Marjorie Elizabeth Millsap in 1911. And... From first glance, I said, oh, no, it's going to be a picture book, but it really is an excellent filmography. Taught me taught me quite a lot about the Wheeler and Woolsey catalog, and uh, I had wondered why she wasn't in a lot of their movies, and it turns out she was married six times, and every time she got married, she stopped the career. So there were like half a dozen gaps in there, and, and the Wheeler and Woolsey movies only ran from 1929 through to 1937. And Wolsey passed away in 1938, and Dorothy Lee actually stopped making movies in 1941. But um, very, very interesting lady, and uh, I will be talking more about her and drawing from this book as I, as I compare and contrast uh, Wheeler and Woolsey with the Marx Brothers because they really ran along parallel tracks. They really were making the movies at exactly the same time. The Coconuts and Rio Rita being both 1929, and then so on for the next few years. I think Wheeler and Woolsey actually did two or three movies a year, whereas the Marxes were, were not quite so prolific. So anyway, that's that, and I thank you for being patient with the last video. I hope to be working on my movie projects a little better. Hopefully they'll be a little smoother, and um, see you soon.